In this lecture, we study the very basics of vector and matrix. I will introduce additions, multiplications, and their time complexities. If you are familiar with matrix computation, you don't need to watch this video. Let's first study the representations of vectors and matrices. Vectors are represented by lowercase boldface type. In computer science, vectors are typically column vectors. Small a is an n-dimensional column vector. It contains n elements. Denote the elements by a1, a2, to an. For example, a sub 2 is the second element. Matrices are conventionally represented by uppercase boldface type. Big A is an m by n matrix. It has m rows and n columns. Its ijth element is denoted by a sub ij. For example, the element in the second row and the first column is denoted by a sub 2 1. Let's first implement vector and matrix additions and then analyze their time complexities. Let's first study vector addition. The inputs are vectors A and B. Their sizes are the same. Both are n by 1. We want to compute A plus B. Denote the sum by vector C. The shape of C is the same as A and B. The implementation of vector addition is almost trivial. Here is the pseudocode. The initialization of C is the n-dimensional O0 vector. Do the for loop for i from 1 to n. i is the index of the ith element. Compute a sub i plus b sub i and assign the sum to c sub i. After the for loop, vector c is equal to a plus b. The time complexity of vector addition is big O n. The analysis is almost trivial. Each scalar addition has a constant time complexity. So the n scalar additions combined have big O n time complexity. Now, let's do matrix addition. The inputs are two m by n matrices, A and B. They must have the same shape. We want to compute A plus B. Let the sum be matrix C. The shape of C is the same as A and B. Here is a pseudocode. We initialize C to be an m by n or 0 matrix. Then perform the nested for loop. The outer loop increases i from 1 to m. Here, i indexes rows. It points to the ith row. The inner loop increases j from 1 to n. j points to the jth column. Compute aig plus big and assign the sum to cig. In this way, we updated all the elements of matrix C. The time complexity is big O M N. It is because of the nested loop. The big O M N time complexity is optimal. All of the three matrices A, B, and C have mn elements. Taking a look at all the elements would cost a big O M N time. So the time complexity cannot be lower than big O M N. The implementations of vector and matrix additions are straightforward. Next, we study multiplications. They are more involved. 
The easiest multiplication is a vector inner product. The inputs are vectors a and b. They are both n by 1 vectors. We want to compute the inner product of a and b. Denote the inner product by a transpose times b. Denote the product by c. c is a scalar. It is equal to a1b1 plus a2b2 all the way to a n b n. Here is a pseudocode. The initialization of c is 0. It is a scalar, not a vector. Then perform the for loop. Increase i from 1 to n. i is the index of an element. Compute a sub i times b sub i and add the product to c. The overall time complexity is big O n. n is the size of the input vectors a and b. The program performs scalar multiplications n times. A scalar multiplication has a constant time complexity. That is why the overall time complexity is big O n. Next, let's do matrix vector multiplication. The inputs are matrix A and vector B. A is an n by n matrix, and B is an n by 1 vector. The size of B must be equal to the column number of A. A matrix vector product is a vector. Denote the product of big A and small b by small c. Small c is an n by 1 vector. Its shape is equal to the row number of A. I use the figure to illustrate the multiplication. A is an n by n matrix. B is an n by 1 vector. The size of B must be equal to the number of columns of A. Denote a product of A and B by C. C is an n by n vector. Its size is the same as the number of rows of A. Vector C is computed in this way. Denote its ith element by C sub i. C sub i is the inner product of the ith row of A and the entirety of B. C sub i can be written as a sum. Multiply A sub i g by B sub g. A sub i g and B sub g are both scalars, so their product is also a scalar. Then take the sum of the scalars for all g from 1 to n. Let c sub i be the sum. It takes a for loop to calculate c sub i. In the for loop, let the index g grow from 1 to n. A for loop can compute only one element, c sub i. To get the entire vector c, we need nested for loop. The outer loop grows i from 1 to m. The inner loop grows g from 1 to n. Here is a pseudocode. The initialization of c is the O0 vector. Its size is the number of rows of a, that is m. Then perform the nested for loop. The outer loop lets index i grow from 1 to m. i is the index of an element of c. The inner loop lets index g increase from 1 to n. g indexes the elements of vector b. Inside the inner loop, we update the ith element of vector c. Multiply 
A sub i g by B sub g. Then add the product to C sub i. Upon completing an inner loop, we get one element of vector C. The time complexity of matrix vector multiplication is big O M N. It is due to the nested loop. The outer loop repeats m times. The inner loop repeats n times. The total number of scalar multiplications and additions are both m times n. I have elaborated on the vector inner product and the matrix vector product. The last topic is matrix matrix product. The inputs are matrices A and B. A is m by n, and B is n by p. A's number of columns must match B's number of rows. They are both n. Let the product of A and B be matrix C. C is m by p. Its number of rows is the same as A. Its number of columns is the same as B. I use the figure to illustrate the multiplication. A and B are matrices. The number of columns of A and the number of rows of B must be identical. They are both n. Denote the product of A and B by matrix C. C and A have the same number of rows. Their number of rows are both equal to m. C and B have the same number of columns. Their number of columns are both equal to p. I'm going to show how to compute an element of C. Let's study the element C sub i k. The element is in the ith row. It is in the kth column. This is the ith row of matrix A. It is a 1 by n vector. This is the kth column of matrix B. It is an n by 1 vector. The inner product of the two vectors is the element C sub i k. To obtain C sub i k, we need to write a for loop for computing the inner product of two vectors. C sub i k is only one element of matrix C. The number of elements is m times p. To compute all the elements, we need nested for loops. This is a pseudocode. Initialize matrix C as an O0 matrix. Its shape is m by p. Then begin the three level nested for loops. The outer loop grows i from 1 to m. i indexes the rows of a and c. Then increase k from 1 to p. k indexes the columns of b and c. The inner loop grows j from 1 to n. Multiply the scalars a sub i j and b sub j k. Then add the product to c sub i k. The overall time complexity is big O n n p. It is caused by the three level nested for loops for i from 1 to m, for k from 1 to p, and for j from 1 to n. The total numbers of scalar multiplications and scalar additions are n times n times p. That is why the overall time complexity is big O n n p. We have learned vector and matrix additions and multiplications and analyzed their time complexities. Let me summarize this lecture. We have learned vector addition and matrix addition. 
let's revisit them. Let small a and small b be n by 1 vectors. Let big A and big B be n by n matrices. The sum of the vectors A and B is also a vector. The time complexity of adding n-dimensional vectors is big O n. The sum of matrices A and B is also a matrix. Denote the sum by matrix C. Its shape is the same as A and B. The time complexity of the matrix addition is big O n square. n is the number of columns and rows. We have learned vector multiplication and matrix multiplications. Also, use small a and small b for vectors, and big A and big B for matrices. Let C be the inner product of vectors A and B. C is a scalar. We wrote a for loop for computing the vector inner product. The inner product of n-dimensional vectors has big O n time complexity. We can multiply matrix A by vector B. Denote the product by vector C. The size of C is equal to the number of rows of matrix A. The implementation of the matrix vector multiplication requires nested for loop. It takes big O n square time to multiply an n by n matrix by an n by 1 vector. We can multiply matrix A by matrix B. Suppose they are both n by n matrices. Their product C is also an n by n matrix. The naive implementation of matrix multiplication requires a three-level for loop. The time complexity is big O n cubic. The three-level for loop for the matrix multiplication is not the optimal implementation. There are faster matrix multiplication algorithms, such as the Strawson algorithm. Their time complexities are lower than n cubic. We will study fast matrix multiplications later on. I have finished this lecture. Thank you for watching. The link to my slides can be found below the video. In the next lecture, we will study dense and sparse matrix data structures.